Episode 7 just really blew it out of the park. Really blew it out of the park. Not in a bad way, but in a very good way of this episode. I'm not gonna lie, but this episode seven of this uh, of this of this episode, I have to say, is one of the best ones I have ever seen out of this series than any other series that I'm watching right now. But this one right here is my top one. It's my it's my top one, and I have to say, if this anime keeps on going the way it's going, I'm probably gonna put this in my top ten. My top ten for the anime, maybe top five, maybe we'll see, we'll see. But even though, even though back when I said it, back in the sense live reaction with this episode, so episode seven of this anime more than a married couple, I want to say, I want to say this, okay? I believe that this anime is almost near perfect. I really do believe that it's almost near perfect. And the reason why I'm saying this, the reason why I'm saying this, you guys know me, you know, I, I, you guys know me, you guys, you guys know me. I like edgy, I like romance. I really do. I love both of them. When they both come together, they make such a great romantic story, and it really, really does. And I think that's just something. It's just something very important. It is basic to me. It really actually. Is, it really actually is to me because it's personally just one of one of my favorites. You know, I'm a sucker for. I'm a sucker for anything. You know, I'm. You know, I'm a sucker for edgy romance. You know, I'm. I'm a sucker for those. The reason why I just. I just like them so much. It just really actually just shows. Less less fan service than more romance or something like that. That's just basically something that I really do admire. With that, some other series would really do not do that. Sometimes they do, but sometimes they really don't. But even though based on this anime, it's just really, it just really is something really really is and stuff like that. And I want to talk about Jiro. Okay, the one thing one thing I want to talk about Jiro. I, I can't remember if he warned if he warned. Um, uh, what's her what's her name? Aki. I don't know if he warned Aki or not. I don't know if he did or something like that. I think he was just just basically just looking out for her, and that's basically what I'm thinking. It's a fact because I, I don't know why I, I don't know why Jiro did not go. I guess Jiro did not want want to go because maybe he doesn't want to be in the way or something like that because that Tenjin was basically still around. So, but even though I definitely want to talk about that, actually, yes, yes, we're gonna talk about that right now because. One thing, one thing is that I understand that Jiro was trying to tell you know, argue about what was going on, stuff like that, and stuff like that, and you could, you could just tell, you could just tell, like everybody was like, like really in awe, like when they saw Tanji, basically in and around, in around the festival and stuff like that. And one thing, the one thing, it took me by surprise, took me by surprise when, when, when her friends, friends were like speaking. Sorry, sorry. When her friends was like, like you know, like uh, was like telling her about like what tension and stuff like that, even though they found out they found out some other information, they they were saying like that some of the guys didn't think they did they didn't think or they didn't know that tension was going to come to the festival. And however, I'm not sure sure if this was a lie or maybe this was trying to stir up something just to get just to get Aki to Aki to cry. And even though to be honest with you, that's what they did. They tried to get Aki to cry. And that's what's basically what happened. It means to me is that I'm assuming they must have did. They must have did tell a lie. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking because, or or they probably just didn't know like where tensions where it's going to be and stuff like that. Nobody really doesn't know that or anything like that. But even though some of the guys and some of the guys, you know, just they probably just messed up or stuff like that. But I still don't like the fact when when they said about something that where was tension really actually is. But even though they really did not say where actually he really actually is going to be. But even though with her, uh, with uh, with Aki, she didn't know. She know she didn't know that Tenjin was was in the festival. She didn't know. And in the, but also upsetting upsetting her the most is that I don't want to say that she's being selfish or anything. Like that. I wouldn't say I wouldn't I wouldn't say that or anything. But the one thing I definitely want to say is when she saw Jiro's you know, Jiro's his best friend, you know, basically you know going around going around the festival. You know, going around the festival with the with the uh, uh, with with tension, and that's that that's what really all fell apart. Because is it the guy's fault or is it her fault? Because that she's overreacting, reacting. To be honest with you, it's really it's not her fault. She just didn't know. She just didn't know, or maybe she would believe that some of the guys were saying like basically the guy didn't come, didn't come here, or maybe they just did it on purpose. Or maybe they just did it because maybe it was just a prank or something like that, or some or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Something like that because it's really hard to tell for me if the if that really was intentional or not. I believe it really was. That's just basically what it was because I really do think that that they were trying to upset her 
and, and, and stuff like that. Because if I were Jiro, if I were Jiro, you know, even I, I, I don't blame Lionel for Jeff, but, but I mean, if that were, if that were to happen, if, if but I mean, if that were to happen right, Jiro, Jiro would have been very upset and stuff like that. And I know Jiro would, would been, would been half and stuff like that, you know, and so I, you know, I want to I want to say this because I mean I understand Akira's that she's in level ten here. Okay, I do understand that. I respect that. Okay, I totally totally really respect that. I understand she wants to win the man's heart, but what if she? But what if? What what if I were to say is that he's not the right guy, but the right guy is Jiro. Because the reason why I like Jiro the most, out of everything he has done from episode one and to over here. With with this of of this of this episode, which comes to one through eight, which I have to see for myself, but one thing I really want to say is is that Jiro has been with her through all of this time, her ups, her downs, get embarrassed, all those other things for that. That's what a man does, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I would say, I would say, like basically, yeah, a man of culture, but I wouldn't say that. But he's much more. He's much more to. Much more to it than that. It really tells me. It just really tells me that he's being a grown up. He's being a man. He's defending her, just like just like uh, a shiny knight. You know, a shiny knight. You know, that's that's basically what a knight is supposed to do. It's supposed to represent his kingdom, his queen, and and, and the princess stuff like that. And even though he will do whatever it takes just to have the princess as his bride and stuff like that, even though that's just all medieval terms and stuff like that you know i don't know where the whole about that and everything like that but even though the, the reason the reason i'm saying this is because that's of course that's just basically what i see basically in this anime in this anime and to me and i really do think like okay all right well this is this is good this is really actually good because even though like i said for when she saw like saw tension was going out with um with the uh, jiro's uh uh friend tell her friend she got very upset I don't blame her for being upset, and I and you know I really don't. I don't blame her for being upset, and stuff like that. Because if that were to happen to me, yes, it would affect me. It would affect me. But even even though even though it probably would affect even more people also well too, and that's the reason why that's the reason why she was like she was on the phone. She's calling Jiro and stuff like that. Even though Jiro was trying to was trying to figure out like where she was and stuff like that until like she was like outside outside and she clinged on to. Jiro and she's like sitting there, she's like bawling, crying, and stuff like that, and stuff like that. One thing I really loved about this is also too, because he comforted her, he embraced her. Like I said before, that's what a real man really does is just like bam, right there on school. It hits me very, very hard, right there, right, right there. That's just what that's just what a real man really does. Is stuff. Just, just be for someone, be for someone like that, you know, either as your mom, your sister, or whoever, maybe it's just something like that. And stuff like that, you know, because it really hurts me just to see a girl cry. It really does. It really breaks my heart just to see that, and stuff like that, you know. And you know, I, I mean, it's, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I mean, you just never know. You just never know. You don't know the personality of a woman, what they were going to think, or anything like that. But even though, just like I said, for what Joe did right there, that's just something. That's just something. It just really just hits me very hard. And it's just like, like, bam, yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to. do. And stuff, and stuff, you know. But even though, like I said, for, for zero, from episode one to one through seven, or I would say eight, he did the right thing, and he did. He was there for her for the whole entire time. And to be honest with you, I think zero. I mean, he may he may want to go out for his child and his friend, but I think there's much more to it than that. But I'm really kind of curious how this ending is going to end up because. I really do not know how this in is really going to handle. I'm hoping it's not going to be bad or anything like that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm afraid of and stuff like that, because it can get kind of complicated at the at the last episode. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see because I really do. I'm trying my very best to avoid the manga, which I do believe is based on a manga. I don't think it's not based on light now, which I don't think it really actually is. Well, I have to I have to see if it really actually is or not. But yeah. I, I think this episode was definitely was very very great and just basically applause to Jiro and just like like I said for the man has been with her most diff different through these tired times and you know it's just stuff that there's one other thing I definitely do want to say this also well too I don't know what studio is this let me see if I can get the name of the studio okay let's see okay Studio Mother okay 
Okay, never heard of that. Studio Mutter, okay. That's the first time I ever heard something like that, okay. But even though, even though I have to give a lot of props to Studio Mutter because what what they're doing right here is, is basically to me, and like what's the future is going to hold for the last of the, the, the uh, until the last episode. I, I really gonna, I really am very, very curious and, and stuff. And, you know, and I'm really kind of wondered because I'm kind of wondered why some people are not really, not really, really paying attention with this anime. I mean, this anime is very, very good, but there, I just don't see really a, a whole lot based on what is going on. But I definitely am saying, I definitely am, I am saying this. It's just something, it's just something that it's a truly good piece of work, you know, from what I see and just basically. You know, it's just, it's just really, just really, it's just acid. This is true love. And so that, and you know, I'm just going to say it right now. I, some people may, may disagree with me. I think if the, whatever the perfect ending is going to be for this anime, for this anime, I'm still the one giving, giving it a 10 out of 20. I would definitely would do that. Definitely do it because it's a perfect series. But however, we just have to wait to the ending. But that's what I think. That's my opinion. Some people may disagree with me, but even though that's just fine, you know, that, that's just fine. But that's just basically what I think. So, so, uh, so yeah. Anyways, I just want to say congratulations, Studio, um, Studio Mother, what they're doing, basically what they're is just really good. And, you know, keep going for those guys and stuff like that. But yeah. So yeah, anyways, um, that's it for those of uh, in review. Anyways, the sun wakes. Anyways, I, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. Please consider subscribing. Uh, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. And please hit the notification bell all below too, so that you guys watch my videos. And please leave a comment below. Excuse me. Anyways, I love you guys. Take care. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. Remember, I love you guys. Be safe and remember, stay blessed. Love you guys. Take care.